Hi everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day. So today me and my friend the bear have made ourselves a tent. And in our tent, we're going to be talking to you about three different types of bears. Do you know what the first bear we're going to be talking to you about is? That's right, we're going to be learning about the polar bear. The polar bear lives in the Arctic where it's very, very cold, isn't it? You're right, it is very cold there. They have a thick layer of fur to keep them nice and warm. And underneath the fur, they have a thick layer of fat, which keeps them extra warm, extra warm in the very, very cold times. The next thing that you need to know about the polar bears is they're amazing swimmers. They can swim very far into the water and come up for air when they're ready. They like to eat seals and fish, and they eat the fish by breaking the ice when they're on the surface, breaking the ice with their big, big paws to get the fish. But when a mummy bear is pregnant with her baby bears, she likes to dig a big hole in the snow and that's where she gives birth to her baby bears. She normally only has two cubs at a time and she has them for over two years until they're ready to learn and hunt all by themselves. So the next bear that we're going to be learning about today is the sloth bear. They live in the forests of South Asia. They have a diet of different bugs and ants, but also fruits such as mangoes and figs. When a sloth bear gives birth to her cubs, the cubs like to ride on the mummy's backs for as long as they can. And also the sloth bear is easily recognised because it has big shaggy fur. And on the chest, it has a white shape on it. That's really cool, isn't it? And so the last bear that we're going to be talking about today is the grizzly bear. The grizzly bear is also known as the North American brown bear and they have a diet of different berries, nuts, sticks, stuff like that that you can find all in the ground. How they communicate though is very different to us. They growl, roar and snort at each other to communicate with each other. We don't do that, do we? They live in North, Car North America and Canada. And they live in the forest area, by long rivers and in the woodlands. They are easily recognised because they have a big hump on their back and that's how they're known as the grizzly bears. So, do you know a song about bears? Shall we sing it together, yeah? Are you ready?